as an internal medicine resident, I'm all over the hospital. One advantage of that is I get to see all the different locations of practice, and so I get to experience kind of the brand new wards, the wards that have been around for a while. Never have I felt as if I was lacking for resources of any kind, so I think they are excellent. I think one of the most beautiful buildings that we have on campus here is the Kirkland Clinic. It's a giant outpatient space that we have a ton of specialties, a few OBGYN specialties as well in addition to some of the other medical specialties. And truly is a big, open, really beautiful space, has a great fountain out front, a lot of open communal spaces and really every specialty, imaging services and kind of laboratory services that you may need, all housed in one building which makes it really convenient for patients. One of the great aspects of the way that the institution has been constructed is that all of the major pavilions and buildings are connected via sky bridges or crosswalks. And so once you enter the building at a particular point, you really don't have to go back outside if you don't want to. And so it makes getting from point A to point B really easy, especially as a consultant. I spend time in every part of the hospital, so it, it's made my life a lot easier. One of the benefits that I have working at the Women and Infant Center are really the facilities and the patient rooms that we have. You know, the entire building itself was designed around women's care and I have the benefit of working in places that have rooms that are specially designed for deliveries, designed for moms who may end up staying in the hospital because they have complications with their pregnancy, and rooms to kind of help a mom through her postpartum period and have really gotten great compliments on the amenities and the quality of the rooms that we have there. Another place that we work is down in the simulation lab um, and so there for the internal medicine program especially we're learning kind of how to do all of our procedures, what is standard technique so that we can train the folks who are coming in after us and make sure that we're not making mistakes in how we do that. Um, and so whether it's central lines is one of the things we learn down there, how to run a code is one of the things that we learn down there and so really these are all the things that are kind of central to independent practice. I think one thing UAB does really well are the amount of operating rooms and operative specialties that we have here. We have three or four different areas where there are designated operating rooms there, and they have state-of-the-art Da Vinci robotic machines for minimally invasive surgeries. We have dedicated specific operating rooms for our pregnant patients in our Women and Infant Center, and all the specialties being really close together, so if any complications or anything else arose for, they are there literally at um, a phone call away from being there to assist you in the operating room. I think we're all really excited about the new GME lounge space, which is used for both residents and fellows, really anyone under the umbrella of GME. As you will well learn um, in your time as a trainee, spend sometimes more time in the hospital than you do at home. And so it's really helpful to, to have a space that's kind of your own and you can go there to work, to study, to rest for a few minutes. Um, for new mothers who might be breastfeeding, there are lactation suites in there, which is, I think, an incredible asset. And there's also a gym, which is awesome. As someone who likes to stay active, it's, it's really nice if I can have like 30 minutes to go jog really quickly. Um, it kind of, you know, helps make my day a little bit better.